Doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jen. Thank you so much for stopping by today's video. So today, of course, we're going to be making the oh so trendy glitter pens. And here I'm just showing you what I'll be using. Um, I'm using a box cutter and some uh, jewelry pliers. I do suggest that you use a container or a Ziploc bag to keep all of the insides of your pens nice and safe so that we would have them for later on today. And I will be using um, the jewelry pliers to twist off the pen clip in order to have like the closest cut possible to the pen without making any holes. And then I will be using the box cutter to snip it smooth, if that makes sense. And I'm also going to be sanding down all of the pens and wiping away all of the dirt before we get to the next step. I want to go ahead and thank you guys right now for 3,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Um, if you watched any of my previous videos, this was a huge goal of mine. And I would love to get to 5,000 subscribers minimum by the end of the year. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do try to get back to all of the comments as quickly as I can. And I would love for you guys to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Please like this video. It is a free way for you to support the channel and help other creators find my videos uh, my instagram is at vigo and co if you want to head over there once this is done and don't forget that all of my subscribers um get 10 percent off my website vigo and co and uh, let's go ahead and get to the next step so I'm going to go ahead and base paint all of my pens and I found it the easiest to use the Starbucks cups because it has like a little clip. So once I put the pen onto the straw, it's very secure, like they will not fall. So I went ahead and spray painted them and then I added my glitter. I do want to apologize for the lighting. Um, these past few days here in Pennsylvania, it's been snowing. I know Texas got snow. Um, it's been snowing for like four days, so it's been very, very cloudy. So please bear with me, and um, I really hope that you are able to see everything that I'm doing. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I will definitely answer them for you. So a few tips um, because we are still in winter. If your epoxy is cold, it's going to be very difficult for you to stir it and get the bubbles out. So I do suggest giving your epoxy a warm bath prior to adding it to your project. Um, it's very simple. You just take a bowl and um, you can either leave your epoxy in their original containers or you can mix them already and put them in a cup and um, just hold them in like a cup of warm water or hot water and slowly stir and it makes it so much easier to apply it. So I did have to do this to my pens because again, it was snowing and it was freezing. And then another tip is, you're, as you're seeing right now, I'm just using wax paper to flatten out my chunky glitter. Um, I know a lot of people use fine glitter in their pens, but most of the glitters in my shop are chunky. Um, I am known to just carry chunky glitter in my shop because it's just my absolute favorite. So the easiest way to flatten down your glitter uh, for an easier sanding in your next layer is to go ahead and um, use wax paper to flatten in it now <laughs> um we're going to get a little crafty i did not want to spend the money on getting another uh, foam insert i have so many so i just got a little crafty i just taped the straws down to my foam boards and honestly this worked perfectly fine i don't think i'm going to be making as many pens um i did get a few orders for them but I just don't see me making as many I don't know why um, probably because I haven't gotten super fancy with the water slides and adding the names but honestly I was just being like kind of cheap so I just crafted this and it works perfectly fine none of them fell um, so if you need an idea if you know you want to buy the butterfly insert or not you can try this first and see if it works for you
So here we are at the first layer of epoxy um, because I did use my spray paint as the adhesive and I thought it would be best for me to cover the pen completely in epoxy before turning on my turner just to make sure that it's fully covered and then any excess will just fall down on my mat. So that's what I'm doing here um, and I am using my finger cods um, to spread the epoxy as evenly as possible. I also um, made sure that I used my box cutter um, to clean the edges. You don't have to use a box cutter. I just used it because that's what I had on hand. But we do want to try and be as neat as possible to make the release of the pens as easy as we can. Alright, so after your epoxy has fully cured, unfortunately it did take me a few days, um, I'm going to share with you guys the easiest way that I found to remove my straws from the uh, uh, pens. So I'm just going to hold the pen and the straw and I'm going to twist in the opposite direction. That's Eli going ham guys, bear with me. Um, and then if there was any epoxy that seeped over the lip of the pen where the straw and the lip met then i just took my box cutter you can use an exacto knife whatever cutting tool you have and then just slice it off but be very careful all right so the next step is to give your pens a good sand you want this to be as smooth as possible so that your final layer won't have any dust bumps or anything like that. So a good sand in each opening of your pen and a good sanding surrounding the body. You try to get as much as the shine as possible so that you know you hit every single portion of the pen. Alright, so here we are, finally, <laughs> probably the longest project that I ever had and um, don't mind my half cut cup that I'm using, I recycle a lot, um, I just recently added these uh, reusable mats to the shop and I also have reusable cups, um, but unfortunately I didn't clean mine in time so disregard that portion um anyway so we're on to the last part so you can see my pens are sanded down and we're gonna go ahead and epoxy and i got i think six pens here i was able to fit six pens comfortably on my turner so just to give you an idea if you do try this little uh foam hack All right, so here we are. Pens are dried. They are epoxy. They are smooth. They are red tea. And this is where I start to doubt this whole entire process. Um, yes, removing the tape is super annoying. So it's a personal preference if you want to just get the little foam things or not. Whichever one, it's fine. Um, but I do want to chat with you guys about videos that you see on YouTube that are not 100% transparent and do not show their failures. I know that a lot of you liked my power wash fail video um, because I was really honest with you guys. And I think that's important because we spend a lot of time and a lot of money following these tutorials and sometimes you're not shown the complete process so yes this video is longer than most but i'm gonna show you what happened to me and if you have the same issue um this is how you can fix it so after i removed all of my pens from the straw like i showed you earlier by just twisting them i started to clean out my pens and I thought like a click up oh, a quick swipe of my exacto knife on the inside was going to be fine and dandy we were going to go ahead and just replace the pen inside and we were gonna be done but 
that's not what happened and I didn't see anyone actually show this part in their tutorial so I want to make sure I show you guys um, once you take off your your straws or your dowels whatever it is that you're using epoxy definitely got on the inside of your cup so you'll see me get frustrated in the next couple of, of clips trying to put the pieces back together and they wouldn't fit um, so you definitely want to get in there and you want to scrape the insides of it like don't be afraid get in there you are going to have chunks of epoxy inside of where the tip screws back in so you'll see what I'm talking about um, but I just want you guys to know that even following a tutorial you're going to have some trial and error that's why I always say what works for me doesn't work for you but if I am following a tutorial and I'm going to be making my own tutorial if something goes wrong that I did not see in a video I'm definitely gonna show you guys because to me that's super important like I was frustrated and um I almost gave up but you know how I am so just make sure you're scraping out the insides of your pens and you'll see the big chunks that I'm pulling out and how long it takes me to figure out what is happening um, I'll stop rambling but yeah I appreciate you guys so I want you guys to know what the real deal is I just 
I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just wanna love you. I just wanna hold you. Just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. If you have made it to this part of the video, I just want to thank you so, so much um, for sticking through with me in this pen journey and leave me a butterfly emoji if you're still here and to package my pens, I did use these pretzel treat bags that I got at my local dollar store. So always check them out. They always have some hidden gems and I'm really, really happy with the way that they came out. I'm glad that I didn't just refund my, my clients and say, sorry, I just can't figure it out um so with that being said don't give up thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the like button do all the youtube -y things and i will see you guys in the next video bye you